My name is Alvaro Silverstein. Since I'm 18 years old, I moved myself in a wheelchair because I had a car accident. I suffered spinal cord injury at level C5. I have paralyzed my body from the chest down. I partially moved my arms and I cannot move the fingers of my hands. It was a very tragic instance of my life. I thought that my recreational life, exploring the outdoors, was something that I would not be able to do again. There was one day that one of my best friends, he went to Torres del Paine in a solo trip. When he returned, he told me, Alvaro, this is such an amazing place. Let's plan a trip that we do W Trek in Patagonia. And I told my friend, like, it's impossible that we would be able to explore this national park. We started researching online and we found a special hiking wheelchair that is called the Joelette. It was a trip that we couldn't afford it, right? We came with the idea of fundraising this trip with sponsors, with companies who acquire this equipment and after our trip, leave it there so other people could repeat it then after us in the future. And Alvaro became the first person ever to hike the track in a wheelchair, so they basically made history. When they found it with the world, they bought the wheelchair and now it's at EcoCamp and anyone can use it. Nicolas was next. He's a little guy, 14 years old, with refractory epilepsy, so he can't walk or communicate. But last year his family borrowed the wheelchair and with volunteers they reached the tower's best viewpoint. It's the most iconic hike here and you could just feel how happy Nicolas was. Then you've got Jake. He's a guy who never stops smiling. Between 14 and 16, he loved the ability to walk due to a rare sickness. This is really... <laughs> I could do this. But he kind of wanted to travel somewhere remote, so he looked for a trip that would take him to South America in a wheelchair. And he found Alvaro. He traveled to Easter Island with Will the World and then he came here to EcoCamp and he became the first guest ever using a wheelchair. You may think people tell you disabled because you're not able to, but it's not true anymore. It demonstrates that humans can have a true sense of empathy and dedication to helping one another. Now they are blind travelers, Feeling the beauty of the landscape through the skin. <laughs> Deaf travelers can admire the immensity, and those who can't walk can feel the flying above some of the world's most majestic landscapes. I don't want to go on the rock anymore! I don't want to do the rock! <laughs> and anyone can reach any place, even at the world's end. After all, adventures for all.